In this screencast, you will need your completed journal entry titled Hand Anatomy, Introduction and Bones. We will review the information on this slip, but we will also collect some new information on the left side. Therefore, pause this screencast and title the left side of your journal Screencast Info. Okay, let's get started. When you read the introduction in the Hand Anatomy booklet, there was a beautiful image of a hand. I love this picture because it shows all the body systems that comprise the hand. Here, you can see the bones in white. Bones are part of your skeletal system and help generate movement. You can also see the muscles here in red. Muscles are part of the muscular system and they also help generate movement. In yellow are the long nerves. You can see it running all the way into the fingertips and they make up the nervous system. And you can see arteries here in pink. The arteries are blood vessels. Arteries are part of the circulatory system because they help circulate blood to all of the cells in your hand. We'll talk about the importance of arteries in another screencast. Did you get all those systems for question number one? Of course you did. When you begin to design your prosthetic hand, different materials will represent different body systems. That's why it's so important to see how the different systems interact. But let's just focus on one system for a moment, the skeletal system. Scroll down to the next page in your booklet. Hopefully you chose this system as the one that contains bones. That was question two. From the reading, you probably saw that there are 27 bones making up the wrist and the hand. That was question number three. When you build your hand, you'll wanna know which bones are where. So let's take a look. This was your question number four. The phalanges here are shown in blue. They're your finger bones. Each finger has three bones, as you can see here, except for the thumb, which has two. Metacarpals are shown here in yellow. They're the long bones that run through your palm. And the carpals are shown here in green. There's eight of them, and we refer to these as your wrist bones. Remember when we calculated our wrist range of motion? We were looking at how these bones glided to the left and to the right. Finally, down here are your arm bones, the radius, closest to the thumb, and the ulna. When you build your prosthetic hand, one of the materials you can use are flat Lego pieces. What do you think Legos might represent? The bones, the muscles, the nerves, the blood vessels, take a moment to write about how you might use Lego pieces to construct your prosthetic hand. Do this on the left side of your journal. Be specific. You can even draw a sketch to enhance your answer. That's it for now.